segment here on um, keyboards and function keys and such and, and keys that you would use in your gaming. Now, first off, I'm going to use this Razer Tarantula keyboard for my um, model. As you can see, um, if you look at the keys, it's they're repositioned into a Dvorak setup. It's my feelings that the Dvorak setup is superior to the QWERTY key keyboard setup for standard um, standard uh, <coughs> typing. But this is, I, in my ways, in my opinion, tr pretty much Razer's best effort ever at having produced a keyboard, except for maybe the newest keyboard, the the Black Widow Ultimate and such. The Me Black Widow Ultimate is a mechanical keyboard. This one is not. The Black Widow Ultimate also has the ability to define macros for every single individual key and besides just the dedicated macro keys. So, But this is not really a commercial about Razer keyboards. All I could say is if I was Razer I would just do the rate the tarantula all over again, but make it mechanical with individual backlighting and anti ghosting that can be defined based upon whatever keys you use predominantly in your in your configuration. So it's not specific to one set of keys like the WASD group. Um, and also keep the five uh, macro keys on the right hand side of the keyboard as well as the ones on the, the five on the left like on the tarantula because some people like to use the numpad for um, their um, their movement and such but <clears throat> first off let's look at what is the most common first person shooter gaming keyboard or set up for um, by default is these three these four keys now I got I'm using the wrong hand really this would be the hand I would use my right hand so I'll try to move those over let's see okay these are the most common with that being the forward the index being the the right, and the um, ring finger to the left. So these are the, this is the WASD group that we common hear of in first-person shooters and such. As you can see, it's superior because we have this key for a, func a potential function key or weapon or something. This key for one. We got our finger right on the shift key if we want to hit something, shift or crouch or walk, run or or, um, or or whatever we want to put as the ca caps lock key and we also have the keys to the left this one and we got all the ones below but I find the keys below are actually harder to reach than say this key or that key when I'm in a first person shooter and it makes no sense to use to jump way up here and have these keys for your weapon keys except it's easy to remember which is assigned to which. It's better to reconfigure it so this key is a weapon, that key is a weapon, that key is a weapon, that key, that key, that key. And if you need more, well then start stretching. But as we can see, there's certain inherent um, things wrong with this setup. For one, we don't really have a key right here that we could easily use as um, another weapon. But if we were to shift this all over, say, to here, we have that key for a weapon, and you can see I have big enough hands where I can still use my pinky key here, and I got the, the key just to the left of that, see, for a, another potential weapon and then I got that and that for weapons but I still think there's problems with this because one suppose you're fighting along you move the key just to the left you're fighting along and you get a sun tell 
Now, unless you reconfigure your enter key for, for chatting um, and say make it this key for, for which is a quote on a Dvorak keyboard, so it's kind of handy as you're text chatting to type off a quick tell or check test, uh, chat, well, it works pretty good. But if you're using the enter key, you have to drop the mouse, move your right hand over to the enter key, hit the enter key, and position yourself to type something out. Unless you've got macros, of course, for quick quick tells like good game and things like that. But <clears throat> here's how my setup is. It's different from what I just described. And I think this is superior because, one, Let's look at it from my point of view. I'm not left-handed. I'm right-handed. I want to use the mouse through my right hand. But what I'm doing here, if we look, is I'm <clears throat> I'm using my left hand for the mouse. I got my razor laxus mouse. I'm using my left handed for the mouse. And I'm using this group of keys on a Dvorak keyboard right here. Now I've got a key to the left, key right there, key right there for my weapons. I've got my pinky right on a weapon button. If I want to stretch down, I can stretch down. I can use this key rather for my crouch or walk or run. Um, I still got all these button keys I can configure to weapons. Plus I got a key to the immediately left such and I have two keys if I really want to stretch way up there I can also access the a text chat just immediately with my enter key and if I want to do something like a tab or a use I can quick shift over here to this key or I can use this key for for many things and it's pretty easy to find the position the only problem with this is that these keys typically are not defined as being anti-ghosting in all the keyboard keyboards we see that are gaming keyboards. So left-handers really have a disadvantage in terms of anti-ghosting technology. It doesn't exist on this side of the keyboard. It's only for a very select specific group of keys, typically these. I wish they would change that. Um, but because in my opinion this is just a slightly more superior position than the right handed where you shift one to the one to the right of the w, the WASD keys this and why that is why do I think this is slightly superior probably because it's so easy to put my pinky here or here that it just feels natural and comfortable and it's also easy to move my pinky all the way around here or even up here and up here whereas on the left hand it just doesn't feel as natural and I also got the other thing is if I do hit enter all I gotta do is shift one more and I'm exactly in home position for typing so it makes it pretty fun and pretty natural. Now uh, some people like to use the number pad. Now the number pad is really good because we have all these keys with our pinky but as you can see let me try to position my hand so I can naturally see how I'm stretching to get get that button. It's big but I'm stretching this button is the only natural pos key position. I find this true even if the keyboard were sitting down in a normal level. This button's kind of harder to get to, but that one's pretty easy. You got all these down below, but you got nothing to the left unless you stretch way over here to the to these function keys. Some people do use these for but you want it as quick as you're possible. You would want it right here really you have these and these so it's pretty good but it's not ideal what's kind of nice though is you still have your macro keys on a keyboard like this like the tarantula r right over here 
these special macro keys. But again, remember, these don't exist on the Ultimate, on the Razor Ultimate. They, they did away with them because most people aren't using their left hand. <clears throat> the one thing is, it takes a long time to learn how to use your left hand for your mouse as proficiently as your right hand. It may take years, especially if you think if you've gamed for say three years, it could take you another three years to learn how to be as proficient with your left hand. Hopefully not as long, but it may. I haven't reached that level yet. I'm still just beginning, but I've been working at it for a little while, though I don't game nearly as much as I used to. The other thing is is that keep, if you use a setup like this, where your right hand's your movement keys and such, um, even if you want to shift one to the left, I, I prefer to have this one, right, my semicolon or whatever, my minus in, in dash, as Dvorak key is, to be right here. If you want to use this type of setup, um, it's also handy for MMORPGs because you have a lot of keys that can be used for um, potential um, um, uh, inventory keys and such like that or special functions. If this is your command bar with your, speci your special actions, it's a horrible config because it's it's you have to move your hand all the way up here to to get off your um, movement. Where if you move it to the keys immediately adjacent to your movement keys, your special your special actions, you'll be a lot quicker in combat. And you can also set up macros to fire off combo moves if you need to, but. <coughs> At, at least on the Razor Ultimate and the Ly Lycosa, which I, I actually have on my desk, the Lycosa. But I'm, I think I'm going to be switching to the Ultimate, even though it's not what I really want in a keyboard, the next keyboard I buy. But there is none available. It's also nice because this position, we still have the two function keys. It's really easy to hit a function key, say, for vote yes, vote no. Um, and then all these for screenshots. Whereas their setup, which was designed on the um, ultimate and such, with the oh, I see I'm getting my head. Okay, they set up on the the Black Widow ultimate the F1 key to be right above the the forward movement key. So it's easily is easily and quickly access accessible, but it's better if you use this side because then you have two keys immediately above your movement keys, two function keys that is. So this video is getting a bit long, and I don't know if it's gonna be uh, uh, upload allow me to upload it unless I edit it or something. But that's basically my talk. Not a very good video, but. I hope for comments.